Hello. Yo. Who? <laughs> the friends, we get lots of questions about how do I get rid of my bat wings? So, since we're on the way to the gym to train arms and get rid of the bat wings, we thought we would talk about it. Losing weight, it's not just a physical thing. It's here and it's here. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up. Now, we always train. Um, a lot of people ask us our training split too. When we do arms, we like to do triceps and biceps together just because we feel like it gives us the best pump, the best blood flow, and the best muscle growth because muscle growth only happens when you have the blood flow. So we like to train them together, bicep and triceps. A lot of people split them up. We like to do them together. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so one of the tips is to hit, make sure you hit all parts of your arms. And then what we do, what we notice works the best for us is we do moderate weight with high reps. Now we generally don't count the amount of reps we do. We just go until failure, till we can't possibly lift anymore. But while on occasion when we do count, we go anywhere from 15 to 30 reps per set. And we can just tell you guys from our experience, uh, me and Nicole, major loose skin after losing 130 pounds each so we know about bat wing and we know about we got bat wings all over our bodies <laughs> so it's not just our arms but specifically for arms we get that question a lot about bat wings and loose skin on the arms now there is no way that you can naturally get rid of loose skin you'd have to have surgery but you can drastically big time improve the appearance of your arms by adding muscle all around that upper arm yes the other the other thing is diet you do have to eat fairly clean most of the time with treats occasionally diet is a huge thing that really helped us not get as much loose skin as we could have had and training moderate weight high reps now your when you go to you look up online or you get a cookie cutter personal trainer, or you go to some gym and, and some person that's never been there, hasn't lost as much weight as us, is gonna give you advice. He's gonna tell you do three to four sets, eight to 12 reps, 10 to 12 reps. In our experience, that's not gonna get it done. Like Nicole was saying, it's the high reps, 15 and up. You gotta burn, whatever you're training biceps or triceps they have to be burning from all angles and so full of blood that it physically hurts that's how you grow the muscle that's how you fill in that loose or extra skin that you have fill it in with muscle for change you have to be uncomfortable so like Kyle said it should be physically uncomfortable without being uncomfortable there is no change so if you want to get rid of your bat wings or minimize the bat wingage that you have you gotta be in a little bit of discomfort. There is no going through the motions. You can't, no. your bo our bodies are so friggin' stubborn that doing your four sets of 12 reps and just going ho hum through the motions, it's not, you have to force your body to change. Our bodies don't wanna change, you have to force it. Yeah, he is right, you do. You have to tell your body what you want. You have to set your goal and you gotta get in the gym and you gotta do it. And that actually goes along with, let's tell you a little story about Friday. Friday, I didn't really sleep that great Thursday night, so I was exhausted on our way to the gym, and Kyle actually had a really bad migraine. So when we got into the gym, we were kind of lethargic, a little bit slow, and there wasn't a lot of people in the gym, and the ones that were in there were training like it was a Friday afternoon. Lacks the days of gratitudes going through the motions like we were just talking about that real like Friday afternoon attitude that you would think would be at a gym it was all around us and so we started training like that we took on everybody else's energy and we were training like that not a whole lot of energy no oomph just going through the motions when we said we came to the gym. When you come to the gym, you give her. You do everything you've got. You give it all you've got. So we together encouraged each other and we started stepping it up. We said, we're not going to take on other people's energy. We're going to bring the energy up in the gym. We said, we, so, we have to be, today is a day that we got to be the pack leaders and we got to set the tone of energy. 
because you often find that in life when you're trying to step outside the box and physically change your life change the way your body looks but everybody around you your peers your co-workers your family they all know you as a certain being that you used to be so when you try to change that's very uncomfortable not only for your body but for them too so they'll try to not not always on purpose but they'll try to kind of like bring you down and everybody's attitude if you're trying to lose weight or you're trying to change the the visit your DNA and change your body your attitude on a Friday afternoon that workout matters more than anything in the world it doesn't matter that everyone else is working out like it's a Friday afternoon you have to bring it and bring that high energy intensity because you're trying to save your life and you're trying to change your life and you have to keep that mindset all day even though people at work might bring in cupcakes on a Monday or a Tuesday it's not your day for cupcakes so you have to go in every wake up every morning with that mentality like I have a mission today yep. and nobody or nothing is gonna throw me off that mission yeah you gotta do it everything like you mean it you have to do everything like you mean it so when you go to the gym you're going you're going to the gym you're there you may as well do what you set out to do so you got to do it do everything like you mean it live like you mean it work out like you mean it diet like you mean it do everything with intensity and energy you be the one that brings up the room um, and Kyle was saying you know it's not your day for cupcakes if someone brings them in on a Monday or a Tuesday and that's not your day we went to get an oil change yesterday and it was a Monday and everybody they were having like a customer appreciation where there were hot dogs and hamburgers and everyone could have them they were free and we had watched some of the people there eat lunch and then they were like oh surprise there's hot dogs and hamburgers and then they started eating those too and Kyle and I our oil change went a little longer than we expected our lunch was in the car but the car was in the shop so we were just waiting for the car to get our lunch and you know we were looking at the food and smelling it but it wasn't our day to eat hamburgers and hot dogs so we set a goal and we stuck with it we brought our lunch we ate our lunch so if if you're gonna see other people do it and do it too you're not gonna change you have to set your goals and stick to them you be the one that sets the tone don't let anyone else pull you down to their energy so the friends that's it that's how you save your bat wings and lose your weight <laughs> yeah, and the pre-workout's kicking in and I'm, my head's getting itchy, so I know it's time to go work out, pre-workout's kicking in. Yeah, my, my arms are getting all itchy. So, the friends, thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, what? You gonna get the blue tongue of doom! <laughs> <laughs> Bye guys, thanks for watching.